What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Movie Watching Challenge. This is a segment that we do on our main show, Apocalypse Now. And uh, every week, one of us are challenged to a new movie that we have not seen. Now, how it works is um, whoever was challenged the week before gets to choose the next challenger. They choose four films for them. We spin a wheel live on the show, and that's how the movie is selected. Um, you should come by and check it out, Apocalypse Now, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, so, And I was challenged to Airplane. All right, now, everybody, get in crash positions. The most incredible adventure the screen has ever created. He's coming right at us! The big news is... Airplane. It was kind of during an era where comedy was interpreted a little bit differently. Now, I know it's kind of spoofing a few um, basically movie tropes. And I guess there was a movie uh, that took place in an airport as well that they are spoofing a little bit. I have not seen a lot of the movies that they're referencing, but I was still able to pick up on the, the context of the movies. And um, so, yeah, so I'm Jacob Bartley, by the way. Uh, didn't say that at the beginning of the show, but Brian challenged me to airplane. Now we're to the point where Brian hasn't seen a lot of the movies that are on our list. So it's just going to be me today talking about airplane, but look, I love comedy movies. We don't get a lot of comedies these days, especially theatrically. Any low to mid budget comedies these days are going to streaming. They're not getting released in, in the theaters. And I think that's, um unfortunate like we need to find a way to get comedies back in the theaters uh, in this day and age but i also love spoof movies i'm a huge fan of um the scary movies uh, especially the first one i'm a huge fan of uh a, a lot of spoof movies that have came out over the years and uh i think that it's a healthy genre when done right unfortunately <laughs> You know, we had this era during the 2000s where they made a ton of like unnecessary, not good, not funny spoof movies. And uh, I think there is a place in Hollywood for spoof, spoof movies even today. Uh, but yes, I was going to say Spaceballs was the other one. Of course, I'm a big fan of Spaceballs being a Star Wars fan. But Airplane. Airplane is a very, very interesting movie. I will say. First of all, it did make me crack up a lot of times during the movie. It really did. I There were a few moments in the film that uh, I kind of laughed out loud and I couldn't stop myself from, <laughs> from doing so. I will say I do think it's a little bit dated in the sense I'm not talking about the comedy's offensive. And... Maybe some people can interpret some of the comedy offensively. I personally don't, but again, I'm, that's coming from my perspective and my life experiences of who I am. So I don't find anything in this movie offensive, but there are some pretty edgy things that I don't think they sh would be so casually brought up in, in a comedy today. For example, um, in the beginning of the movie, when all the passengers are kind of, uh, or the customers are kind of showing up to the airport, the the announcers are talking about the red line and the white line and boarding and all that. And if you've seen the movie, you know what kind of joke they made during that scene. And I was like, whoa, that's what we're in for. That was kind of uh, one of the more edgier things in the movie, but I was like, whoa, okay, okay, I could see that. But it was just, it was funny in general that like two people kept going back and forth and they were kind of arguing over the uh, over the speakers. So that was pretty funny. Uh, there's also like several moments in the movie. Maybe there's at least five of these moments where somebody says something like, um, we got to get to the hospital. And then they say, the hospital, what is it? And then. The other character says, 
it's a big building where they keep patients, but that's not important right now. So, and they say that a bunch of times throughout the movie. And I could see how some people would say that joke getting tiring, but it kind of made me laugh every single time they did it. Um, another one was they were showing a flashback to um, when the main character was, you know, uh, recovering from his war injury. And the girlfriend was like, oh, all the captains are, all the generals are meeting at the headquarters. And he says, headquarters, what is it? Like, basically he's asking, what's the issue? What's wrong? Why are they meeting at the headquarters? But she takes it as he's asking what the headquarters is. And she says, oh, it's a, it's a uh, place where all the generals meet, but that's not important right now. And <laughs> that joke got really, um, I really enjoyed that joke every single time. Like it didn't get tiring to me. Another one is the Shirley jokes. And he's like, Shirley, you got to be kidding me. And the doctor says, stop calling me Shirley. And I've heard that referenced before, but I I didn't know exactly the context of the situation. Of course, you have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the movie. Those scenes were hilarious. You have the inflatable co-pilot. It's just a blow-up doll who's sentient, I guess. Um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of sexual humor surrounding the uh blow up doll co-pilot um there's a random scene where everybody in the plane is freaking out and then a girl just walks by with her top off and they show her boobs like that type of comedy like back then i could see why it's funny because nudity what i mean nudity was common in the 80s but just like a random just random shot of girls boobs like ha 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 like nowadays that would not be funny like just just the a girl running by topless like but back then i could see why people interpreted it as funny but those are the type of things where i mean it's kind of dated but look this movie if you want to talk about edgy like sure they probably wouldn't make a movie with this type of humor today because i just think what we found funny back then as humans is different um, compared to now. But like there's movies that came out in the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, which are much more edgier, much more offensive. Um, and offensive, I mean, I, most comedies I don't even consider offensive, but I mean, how people could interpret them as offensive um, because like someone could say just cursing is offensive or making any sexual joke at all is offensive, which usually it's not. But yeah, look, I like Airplane. It's it, it brings a smile to my face thinking about it. It's so dumb because there's parts of it where they had to like they made it serious in the sense where you're following the main character and he has like his, uh, I believe it's Ted Stryker, <laughs> and he has his um, like war history and his his war stories, and he has PTSD from uh, being a pilot in the war, and then he asked to land this plane. So like they incorporated a somewhat serious storyline into this movie, but obviously it's surrounded by all this ridiculousness, and it shows these flashbacks of them uh uh how he met the girl and some uh moments from their past and one of them that really cracked me up was they were at the at the bar right well there's a couple things at the bar that cracked me up the one where they're like oh you don't even come to this bar if you don't know how to throw fists and then it shows like some girl scouts like playing po are they girl scouts or cheerleaders one or the other and they're playing poker and one of them was cheating and then they start to get into a huge brawl. And like, normally it's like, you think of like big men get into the big brawl. Um, and then also he sees the girl on the dance floor. She's dancing with some old man and he's like, but fate was on my side. And the old man gets stabbed in the back and he's, he's like trying to like pull the knife out and referencing that he's injured. And she thinks that, He's just doing dance moves and she's following his dance moves. And then he just falls to the ground. And then the dude walks up and talks to her. That was hilarious. But overall, I get it. I get why Airplane was such a big hit back in the 80s, in 1980. I could see how like 
to them back then, this was hilarious. So I totally get it. It's not going to be one of my favorite comedies of all time, but at least now I've seen Airplane and I can joke around with all the references that people say. I've heard the Shirley references before. I've heard several of these references before, and I'm just glad I can understand them now. Um, so that's going to do it for my review of Airplane for the Movie Watching Challenge. I'm so glad I watched this, another movie off of my checklist. And yes, so tune in to Apocalypse Now this, this Tuesday to find out who I'm challenging and what movie they will be watching. Again, I am Jacob Bartley. This was the Movie Watching Challenge for Apocalypse Movies. We'll see you next time.